Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligeia. Alright, we're fighting against the Delilah's family. Next up is Lou versus Noah, so let's do it. Now, Noah's battle is actually probably the easiest one, if you want my opinion, uh, because Noah is by far our best fighter, and she, especially with the Metal Gym, can really just spam Miracle Arts at her. So, um, this battle is actually going to go a lot quicker, and I also believe Lou has the least HP out of all of them. I'm thinking 8,000, and then, of course, uh, G would have 10,000, and she's also very good at blocking. Um, even Lou's special attack, Noah can block a lot of. So, oh man, with our 54 AP, you can see that's definitely enough. It only takes 49 to do a miracle right now, so let's go ahead and unload on her with it. There you go, that's nearly 3,000, so we're going to take her down pretty quickly, actually. This is a very easy battle, De like I said, definitely the easiest of the three. Um, of course, she does still follow the same pattern, attack, attack, special, so make sure Noah spirits every third turn. And see, like I said, Noah can actually even block a lot of her special attack. So, <laughs> um, yeah, th this fight is definitely no problem. Um, heck, we even actually have enough to just go ahead and attack and still be alright, so I think we're gonna do that. Alright, and there goes that one. If she really does only have 8,000 HP, it might be 9,000. But if she did only have 8,000, that means one more of those would actually take her out. So let's go ahead and heal up. We're back in good fighting shape. See, that's exactly 1,500 HP, and that's kind of cool. All right, do your thing. And again, spirit the special attack. Now, let's see if this will do it. I'm actually kind of curious to see if I have the number right or not. Okay, maybe I didn't, because I'm sure that adds up to more than 8,000, so... Um, I guess we'll, we'll definitely only have to do one more, though, so... Um, again, repeat the process, heal up, let her do her thing, and then we'll take her down. Alright, so let's finish this one off. I'm getting tired of this battle already. Yep, and that definitely will take her down. Like I said, Noah definitely has the easiest out of the three. She also leveled up, which is very nice, and we grabbed the Wind Book 3. No, this can't be. How can I lose? I can't lose. Oh, <laughs> it's really, they literally just jump off the cliff. I'll kill you for what you did to my brother and sister. I didn't do anything. I was standing here the whole time, all right? They'll take it out on me. So at least we get a little switch up of the theme here. Now we're fighting G. Delilah, who of course is the head of the Delilah's family, um, but still I think second in difficulty, sort of in the middle. Um, so, let's see, actually, remember we set Vaughn up as a magic attacker, so we don't really have to worry about spiriting before we attack, we can pretty much just go all out from the beginning.
tell you what, that's a pretty cool spell, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's just like one of their regular ones, too. Yeah, so, I don't know, his, he's really pretty much just like all the other ones. Again, the pattern is attack, attack, special. So we're going to go ahead and have Vaughn just attack him again, since we have another turn before that big one. All right, and yet another 2,000 damage to him, so he's already almost halfway done. <laughs> but of course, we're going to have to start taking some turns to heal ourselves and defend starting now. So let's go ahead and spirit and take, see what his big attack is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I like that one the best, but <laughs> but um, it's no really no more damaging than any of the other ones. So. Um, I don't know. If, it might be a good idea if you are using Vaughn's Magical Attacker to try to just use Healing Berries to heal. Um, otherwise, you may actually risk running out of MP. So, um, I think I'm actually going to wait, though, because we should be fine for one more attack. So, let's do that. And yet another 2,000 damage. So, he should be more than half done now. Alright, yep. Definitely time to heal now, I'm thinking. So let's go over to the Healing Berry. And we are good to go again. So at this point now, we definitely are falling into that same three-turn rhythm that we always have. So uh, remember, if you've been counting, this is turn three, so we got a Spirit. That is a pretty cool attack, though. I mean, you definitely have to admit. <laughs> okay, and I think that one took care of me. You don't get near as much confirmation in the attack, but I guess that didn't do it. I also did skip ahead one. It wasn't that one that you just saw that did it. Um, for pretty much the same reason I skipped ahead in Gala's battle. Just more of the same stuff, really, is all you'd be seeing. How humiliating. Okay, and it looks like that's going to take care of all three of them. Awesome. The dreadful Delilah's family. All right, everyone, let's set the time space bombs. Okay, I put my time space bomb in place. You know, I really wouldn't trust giving Noah that kind of explosive power, you know? <laughs> I hope they explode after three seconds, not sooner. All we can do is press buttons and run like demons. Ready? Press on the count of three. Three! Oh wait, oh crap, no, I wasn't ready. Oh. <laughs> no, he's gonna count down from three. Okay. One, the button is pressed. Now run, run! One! Ah, Dr. Usha, you liar! Brother, I'm a wreck. Help me, my brother. Stop whimpering, Jay. Uh, I'm right here. Where's Lou? Is she alive? I'm right here, my brother. <laughs> so even the raw Seru could not even the raw Seru could finish us off. Look, Koru is still alive. The thermal energy. The thermal energy he stored in his belly for so long. Let's release it. Brother, do you mean the three of us will merge with Koru? Correct. Lou, is life that precious to you? No, of course not. Ha ha ha. In doing so, we lay waste to all of Caristo. I like it. Listen, we must use our remaining strength. Those Rosseru will wish they'd never been born. Ugh. Ugh. 
Koru, Silent Seru, make us one with your life and your fate. Ah, fun! The light's so bright! What's going on? Such a strange light. Noah, Vaughn, look! It's Koru! The light's coming from Koru! Huh? But we blew Koru up with time space bombs! It seems the Delilahs have merged with that Seru and commanded it to self destruct. If Koru blows up, everything between here and Seoul will be vaporized. No! How could this happen? Ozma, how can we stop them? I don't know, but since they are controlling Koru, perhaps if we defeat them... Whatever we do, we better do it quickly. Indeed. Okay, so we've defeated the Delilahs, however, Koru is still alive! It looks like our time space bombs didn't exactly do the trick. The Delilahs have merged with him and now are commanding him to self-destruct, so we're gonna have to get down there and do something to stop them. So the battle with Koru is going to be yet another one that's slightly different from ones we fought so far. First thing I'm going to do is actually heal us up. I'm going to use Noah to do so. And uh, I'm going to recover our magic up a bit too. We also want to remember to use our Thunder Books. Here's Thunder Book 3 for Gala. He can now use Explosive Fist. Here is Fire Book 2 or 3 for Vaughn. And Wind Book 3 for Noah. So we'll definitely have to check those out later, but actually for right now, um, I'm not going to really bother with that, because we need to prepare ourselves uh, for sort of a different type of fight, like I said. Uh, the one against Koru, actually I need to use an item here and uh, recover our magic a bit. Um, do hers. Uh, the one against Koru is actually going to be sort of like a timed battle. We basically will have, well, you'll see once we get into it. I'm not really going to bother spoiling too much about it right now. Um, but the key thing to remember here is that we need to set everybody up for offense. Vaughn's fine because I'm going to be using uh, magic with him. And Noah's fine, of course. You know how offensive she can be. Now with Gala, I'm actually going to uh, probably switch just one little thing around. Uh, because I'm actually going to have him be a magic attacker too. He can do quite a bit of damage with Kamaro, and that's what we're going to use against him. So, um, in this case, we're going to put the Spirit Jewel on, and we're also going to put on the Magic Ring to give him just a little bit more max MP. So, I guess I should have waited to heal his MP until he had the max, but whatever. We got plenty of those, so it's no big deal. Okay, so that's all ready to go. We're saved up. It would also be a good idea, if you're not very confident, to use the save point over here. I'm actually going to do so. Um, I'm pretty much 100% sure I'm not going to have any trouble with this. But, you know, just to sort of be on the safe side, that's what I'm going to do. Because uh, you would hate to lose all this progress now. So let's overwrite the oldest one over here. And there we go, we have saved, and now we are ready to go down there and take on Koru. But I think we're going to actually save that for the next part, because um, that's obviously going to take quite a long time. Well, actually, the battle itself will, but you know the events afterwards will. Um, so next time, we're going to head on down and take care of Koru. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.